friends, welcome back to my channel. Sass here. I'm here to do 90 Day Fiance before the 90 days. Last night's episode was eh. Okay, they didn't give us much. Okay, but I will work with what I have. So, let's start off with Jeffrey and V. Now, one of my sastas investigative reporters. <laughs> Drop down in the comment section and said Jeffrey is a whole actor child. She sent a link. I will leave the link in the description box. Apparently he was in one of those true crime shows, another 48, Snap, Dateline, the ID channel, my neighbor done killed me with a girlfriend crazy. You know, one of those shows. Jeffrey played an investigator. He was a whole investigator, y'all. Now, as we know, Jeffrey, mm -hmm, Jeffrey is hot. He's crying. It's not flying. He outside, and he's saying that he's been played, that he's better than this. He should have known better. Okay, so here comes V. V said, I'm going to need for you to calm down. Okay, just calm down. You know what? We both need to calm down. It's okay. So Jeffrey says, listen, have you been talking to any of the Americans? She said, yes. Okay, I've been talking to one. He was like, okay, so you lied. I asked you specifically and you lied. Mm -hmm. where, where did you meet him? How did you meet? And she said, I met him on that site. He was like, the same site that we met? And she was like, yes. And he was like, so y'all been communicating with each other on Instagram? And she said, yes. He said, only on Instagram? And she said, yes. He was like, mm. He was like, mm-hmm. Born at night, not last night. He was like, now, not too long ago, I seen an American talking to you on WhatsApp. Honey B was like, uh, yeah, um. Yeah, oh, so you mean all my social medias. Oh, okay. So you mean WhatsApp, Snapchat, TikTok, Facebook, Twitter. Is You mean all of them. See, I just thought you meant Instagram. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, uh-huh. I did talk to an American. <laughs> and so he was like, mm-hmm, see another lie. Mm-hmm. So then he says, have y'all met? All right. And she was like, yes, you know, we met. And so he was like, oh my God, they met somewhere. But she says it means nothing. Okay? It means nothing. All right? He meant nothing. I didn't like him. You're blowing this all out of proportion. You know, you are the only American that, you know, I want. You know, so he was like, listen, I am too upset to be dealing with this. Okay? I don't want to talk to you right now. I just want to go. And she was like, well, where are you going to go? He was like, I'm good. I'm going to go ahead and get me a hotel room honey so he goes he gets him a hotel room child she's like he i don't know what to do he's acting crazy about this <laughs> so he gonna you know so it's the next day and he need to you know relieve some stress child so he done went and bought some running gear workout clothes i don't know what he did child he done found it somewhere in russia so he went running a running a running a running a running today so he went running child and so he went and he called his home girl mary okay see mary is the girl that liked um Jeffrey, okay? She is the girl that they dated for a little bit, but hey, it, it really didn't work out. Really wasn't no chemistry. So Jeffrey probably couldn't go upside her head. <laughs> yes, y'all, I am aware of Jeffrey's past. Okay. Okay. All right. So, Mary says, listen, I told you. Okay, I told you not to go over there. I told you that something wasn't right, okay? But what did you do? You didn't listen to me. You hightailed it on over there to Russia, and now you cry, You calling me crying whining. It's not fine. Mm -hmm. So he was like, you know, I know, but I just need some advice. You know, she's been talking to, you know, this American. She's been talking to someone. You know, on one hand, she's telling me that she hasn't, and then on the other hand, I done call her in several lies. You know, I want something with this girl, but hey, she's making it hard. And so Mary, Mary, honey, Mary said, listen here, you had a good thing here in the United States, okay? You could have loved me, 
Okay? I had feelings for you. You let me go. You let a good thing go. Don't be trying it. So here he is like, oh. He was like, you know what? Maybe I should have tried a little bit harder with Mary. I mean, hey, Mary knows everything about me. Mary knows my past, and she still accepts me. She still wants to get with me, but too late now, you know. So Mary says, listen, okay, you got much time left there in Russia. You might as well make the best of it. Go ahead, call V, and see what y'all can do. Because, hey, you're going to have to talk to her eventually. So... Give her a call and y'all talk it out. Okay, so it was it was good advice from me. So he gets in contact with V. V shows up and y'all what happens? Kissy, kissy, huggy, huggy. Okay, V says, listen, you are the American that I want. Okay, I'm not using you to get to America. All right, and see, Jeffrey was like, "Listen, you don't lie to me. You've been talking to Americans, so you have been using me to get to America. You didn't have no feelings for me." And of course, you know, V, no, that's not true. Okay, I like you. All right, you're the one I want to be with. And of course, you know, Jeffrey, he says, "You know what? You know, maybe I am. You know, blowing this a little bit out." proportion. She did apologize. She's saying that she's not going to talk to any more Americans. I'm here in Russia. What am I going to do for like five, six days? I need something to do, child. So anyway, kissy, kissy, huggy, huggy, Jeffrey and um, V, it's all good in the hood right now. Now, child, we will see when he have to go visit, you know, that mama. Child, just a mess. Just a mess. All right, let's talk about Darcy and Tom, child. This is going to be real quick. Darcy, as you know, her and Tom, they are broken up. She's not sure, okay? She don't know if they're still together or if they have, you know, broken up. So anyway, Tom, you know, he has to come to New York for business, so he texted her, and he was like, listen, okay, I want to meet with you. There's things we need to discuss. Okay, I don't want no huge war. I don't want no fight. I just want to talk to you. Can you meet me? So, of course, Darcy, she is conflicted. She says, listen, I don't know if I'm going or not. I mean, are we together or are we not? Because he's taking pictures with another woman. Okay, and he's not telling me about that. All right, so I don't know what I want to do. And he's, he's sending me mixed signals okay first he talked about he wants to you know have a relationship then i found out that he's taking pictures with another woman then he's telling me that he wants to go to argentina and meet his friends honey Dawson is just having a hard time child she's crying it's not fine honey she's sitting up there she don't know what to do so she decides to go to new york okay she wants to hear him out but she ain't about to bs Okay, the one time that he come out his throat wrong, she leave. That's what she going to do. That's what she said. So we have Tom. All right, Tom, he shows up in New York, and he says that everything was going great with Darcy. Darcy just don't understand how much he loves her. He says he loves Darcy. Is that love, Tom? <laughs> I'm confused. So, Tom says... That, you know, Darcy had a whole lot of things going on. Her, you know, mood swings, her emotions, it was just a lot. The long-distance relationship, it just killed him. He said that it was just hard because he's never been in a long-distance relationship. And every chance she could get, she brings up Jesse. I believe that. She's bringing up Jesse. He didn't know how to take that. And then he said that tell-all was just a train wreck child. I forgot all about that tell-all child when um, Tom said that Darcy was all hugged up on some man. And Darcy said, listen, I don't even remember that. Maybe I was upset and this man was consoling me. And Tom said, a stranger, a stranger was consoling you. Oh, okay. And so Darcy rolled her eyes. I had completely forgot about that. So... Tom says that he's going to New York to see if they can have any type of talk or salvage this 
relationship? Where does Darcy want to go? Where Where is he going? So anyway, it's time to meet up. Darcy gets there, honey. Tom goes to this real nice, um, was it a hotel? Restaurant, honey, it was gorgeous, okay? So, Darcy shows up. She got her overnight back, and she says, listen, in case I have to walk out of here, you know, I'm not going to waste this time in New York, okay? I'm going to have me a good old time as soon as I kick him to the curb. So, Darcy, she shows up for the little showdown slash meet, and honey, I will say this. Now, Darcy has worn some questionable outfits, okay? But the outfit that she had on to show up, for uh, this little showdown, Darcy was done. Okay? Her, her face was beat. Her hair still needs to be cut, y'all. She need a bob or something. Mm, I don't like the hair. But the face was beat. Honey, she had on her sunglasses. She had on that jumper showing up her titties, honey. Her titties was up, raised up, honey, like ding. <laughs> honey, that jumpsuit was done. And that leather jacket, I need that jacket in my life. I need that in my closet. Honey, everything about Darcy's outfit was on point. So, she shows up. Here's Tom. You know, Tom gets up to greet her. And she did the matrix. She went. Mm-mm. <laughs> Uh, a handshake would be great. I don't feel comfortable. And he was like, oh, you're not even. She said, that's right. <laughs> so she sits down. They start talking. Hey, how you doing? And then, of course, here they go. All right. So Darcy says, is there anything you need to tell me? Okay, why are we here? Is there something you need to tell me? Of course, Tom is looking at her like she had two heads. Tom says, listen, I'm trying to explain something to you. I'm trying to talk to you, but you won't even let me finish. You won't even let me talk. And she was like, talk. Talk. Is there something you need to tell me? Now, see, at that point, I don't know why Darcy was like, listen, who is this woman? Why is this woman in between your legs? Is this your girlfriend? If you don't want to be with me, tell me you don't want to be with me. Okay? I got my tits out for a reason. <laughs> so, of course, Tom is looking at her all startled. Didn't have too much to say. I don't understand these two. Just break up already. She said that Tom don't have the balls. He don't have the coolness to come out and say that he's with another woman and that, you know, he don't want her. I don't know. Okay. This whole relationship is a hot mess. Okay. If they're going to get it, get it in. Look, if they're going to be together, just be together. Just put all the cards on the table. Who wants to sit across with somebody guessing, hearing, and hollering? You better tell me up front. Are we together or not? You got another woman? You better tell me. What y'all think about Darcy and Tom, child? Just a mess. Just a mess. Y'all, let's move on to Stephanie and Erica, child. Is that her name? Yeah, it is. Whoo, child. So they done made it to Australia. They're in the hotel room. Erica says she wants to take it slow. She wants to take a bath. But before that, honey, she ordered a $100 worth of, what was that, champagne? I said, okay. So Erica then ordered the champagne. She's giving Stephanie her little gifts. Now, I didn't see Stephanie uh, give Erica anything. You mean to tell me she done flew all the way to Australia and you can give her a little care package? Oh, no. Mm-mm, no. I think that Erica and Stephanie are cute together. I think that, um, is it Erica that's in Australia? Whichever, the one with the pink hair child, she real cute. And they make a real cute couple. But, honey, I got a feeling that all of the YouTube girl, what's up, the, the Stephanie, honey, I think all her um, ailments is going to weigh in on this relationship, child. So, anyway, she's in the bathroom. And they're talking about taking a bath and how, you know, she don't want to move too fast because, see, Miss Australia, she's adventurous in her um, sexual activities, okay? She's ready to get it in, okay? But she's going to, you know, 
she respects Miss YouTube girl. She respects her. So, anyway, they get to kissing and, you know, liking each other, blah, blah, blah. So, the next day, here we got Miss Australia, honey. She wants to take Miss YouTube girl to a safari. Now, we all know Miss YouTube girl, she got a disease, okay, that affects her immune system, her bone marrow. Honey, it's just a mess. And she can't be doing a whole lot of them elements. So, of course, she has to take her year supply of medication, a year supply of hand sanitizer. She got 45 masks. She got 62 gloves. I mean, she cannot risk it. So, they go to the safari, and they, there's tigers, lions, bears, geese, monkeys, rhinoceros. I mean, everything, okay? She is in the elements. So, she was like, oh, my God, you know, I need to sit down and take my medication. Child, when I tell you, she started pulling out the medication. She pulling out the hand sanitizer. She was like, come here, Miss Australia. Here, you need some too. Mm -hmm. I didn't see you. Did you wash your hands? Okay. So she pulling out the hand sanitizer. Honey, she pulls out all kinds of medicine. Miss Australia looked at her and was like, I know not. Now, see, you didn't tell me that it was that severe. I mean, I knew it was severe, but I didn't know it was that severe. See, she made me to think that she just needed a couple of, you know, vitamins and some rest and some orange juice. That's what she made it seem like to me. I didn't know she was bringing a whole pharmacy. I'm concerned. <laughs> but, of course, Miss YouTube Girl was like, listen, okay, I know this is overwhelming. I hope this doesn't scare you away. And so, Miss Australia, Miss Pink Girl was like, you know what? It's understandable. You're sick, okay? And you have to use certain precautions, and it's all good, okay? That's what she says right now. But I got a good old feeling that something's going to happen. They need some, something better happen between these two, child. Something better happen, child. Let's move on. I put my head is cut off, y'all. Let me see. Okay. Whew. All right, let's talk about four foot eleven and Rosemary. Now we know last episode, honey, four foot eleven got embarrassed. He cut a shot. He almost got attacked by the locals. Rosemary almost headbutted him, child. He is distraught. Because he know what he did the night before was uncalled for and blatantly disrespectful to Rosemary. Okay, so he's sitting up in the hotel room in his high chair, child, contemplating life. Honey, he says, listen, I done messed up. I have messed up royally. Okay, now I done told this woman to get an STD test. Wrong. Okay, I haven't heard from her. I done called her 50, 11 times, child. She ain't returned no text, no call, no nothing, honey. She done turned into Helen Keller. Helen Keller. What am I going to do? I cannot lose Rose, okay? I need to get in touch with her and apologize because I was wrong, all right? So he's calling, he's texting, and child, he done broke down and used a translator app. Memories. Translator Alpine. Child, he was like, I'm going to need for you to meet me right around the corner at the little cafe at 2 o'clock. Honey, I can't. I, I just can't. I need to see you and apologize. So he goes to the little cafe, child. And honey, he is ready. He got him some coffee with some cream and sugar. Now he said 2 o'clock. Honey, Rosemary ain't no fool. Rosemary said, you going to talk to me like that the night before? You gonna ask me to take an STD test? You waiting? You waiting? Mm hmm. Honey, Rosemary did not walk through that door till ninety minutes later. Honey, an hour and a half. And so he was like, "Hi, hi." She said, "What?" <laughs> Honey, Rosemary wasn't here for the games. Okay. Bottom line is, Rosemary said you're disrespectful. Okay. You gonna disrespect me? You gonna ask me of this? I done told you about my past. Okay. All that I need to tell you. And you ain't gonna ever, ever talk to me that way. And you will never, ever ask me for a test. Are we clear? Honey, what Ed gonna say? Honey, 4 foot 11 said, we clear. We good. I ain't gonna never do that again. Never, ever. Ever, ever, ever will I do that again. <laughs> Honey, Rosemary said, okay, I'm going to give you another chance. But if you kind of shine again, it's a wrap. It's over. I'm going to find my way 
to the United States with or without you. That's a promise. Okay? So, anyway. So, and, you know, he apologized. He said that he was sorry. And that, honey, he will never, ever do that again. He's not going to ask about her past. He ain't going to ask her for no STD test. He messed up royally. And he understands. And it's all good between Ed and Rosemary at this time. All right, now let's talk about delusional David. Okay, now as we know, Lana supposed to be meeting him in Ukraine. Okay, so he showed up at the train station, honey. She, she wasn't there. So he just don't understand. He don't understand why she didn't meet him. Okay, now. He goes to that little chat room, you know, where he done spent $100,000 to see if she's online. She ain't online, child. She is nowhere to be found. He's confused, okay? He says, listen, it's been three times. I wasted my time three times to come out here and see her. And it's been excuse after excuse after excuse. I mean, I mean, truthfully, they're legitimate excuses, Really delusional, David. But here, I just don't understand why she stood me up. I need answers. So he goes to the, like this little park, wherever he was at, side of the road, whatever. And then his friend, what's her name, Anya, she shows up. Okay, so he's like talking to her, you know, explaining to her, you know, that um, Lana didn't show up. And so here's his, here's Anya. Anya is like, Anya said this poor, old, sad, 60-year-old American male. Honey, he getting played. So Anya just broke it down and says, listen, okay, maybe this ain't it. Okay, she's done gave you excuse after excuse. How much more are you going to take? What is it going to take for you to realize that you're getting catfished? What is it going to take for you to realize that this woman isn't real? Okay, now here's delusional David. Okay, Delusional David says, now, what if something happens to her? Something must have happened to her. She's not in the chat room. She didn't show up to meet me. She may be hurt. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get in this car and I'm going to drive to that little town that she in and look for her. Honey, his friend Anya said, boy, if I'm telling you, she said, you can't be doing that. Okay, it's dangerous for one. Two, you don't really know where, you know, she lives. And he was like, oh, I got an address. She was like, okay, you have an address, but you don't even know where she lives. You don't know what this address is. And plus, it's wartime. There is a war going on, okay? It is unsafe. You know, I'm just letting you know, you could be murdered. Here's David. I think I'm going to go. You go on, delusional. You go on, you fool. You 60-year-old idiot. Now, this girl has done told you when she lives there to say, listen, you can't be going around there. They're going to blow your head off. He's ready to risk it all. He would rather die than to realize that he's been played. What y'all think about delusional David? I'm sick of him. I'm sick of him. I don't want to talk about him. I'm sick of David. We all know why, where this is going, don't we? Caesar 2.0. Let's move on. I was like, okay. <laughs> All right, so it is the premiere of Soja Auto Tunes little, you know, video. Okay, so we have Lisa. Okay, Lisa whining in the hotel room about, you know, Auto Tunes friends disrespecting her. How all of Toon's friends were rude to her. Okay? Insulted her. And he laughed. He should have. He should have laughed. Lisa is actually sitting there. And the words that 
was coming out of her mouth, I, I just like, this woman is horrible. Now, I have talked about many women, okay? 90 Day Fiance, before the 90 Days, 90 Day Fiance, we back in love, love at the lockup, life. I mean, I have met a whole lot of horrible people. Lisa is in the top two. Lisa's the top two. I like Angela more than I like Lisa. Lisa is a mean woman. She's a bully. She is hateful. She is mean. She is just horrible. Okay? I don't like her at all. Here she is telling Aldo Toon how his friends were so disrespectful. And here she is calling them idiots. She had an attitude from jump. Because she don't want auto-tune to have any type of life. She don't want him to apparently be successful. She don't want him around, you know, any of his fans. I mean, she is a miserable old bag of bones. That's what she is. Okay? And the reason why she's with Uzman is that the only one she can get. I said it. I said it. That's right. Who could challenge me? Challenge me. Tell me I'm lying. I said tell. <laughs> so here she is talking to Soldier. Talking about how her friends disrespected her, insulted her. He laughed. And here is Uzma. Apologizing. Get again. I'm sorry. 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 Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I mean, that's all he says. What are you apologizing for? Your woman is a mean, disgusting piece of trash. Again, challenge me on what I just said. So, she is so upset about this video, okay? And she, and then she had the nerve to say, I have defended you to everyone. Who? Who? Who have you defended Uzman to? What has he done? Have you defended him to the people that, that you know? Where are you from? Because, see, he has never met them. So what are you defending? Huh? I don't get it. So you or him mean his friends. And you have made a complete spectacle of yourself. You can't talk about you done defended him. Talk about I want the same respect. I want to say respect. Honey, I wish soldier. I'm not for violence, but he should have just. You ain't got to hit her, but you sure as hell can shake the shit out of her. That's all I'm saying. You don't have to. That's all you got to do. Okay. So, later on that night, it is the premiere of that video. And child, honey, Lisa is bent. Okay, because that girl was in that video. Okay, Soldier took the girl out. Why are you still fussing? Then she bringing up his female fans. Okay, I hope they are adult about this when they meet Soldier. You talking about some other women being adult when the whole time you've been here, your 85 year old self been acting like a 13 year old girl? Honey, go step in hot acid. That's what I need for you to do, Lisa. Just go step in hot acid. Just go get your big toe. Let it just go on up your leg real good. Anyway, oh, she makes me sick. So, here is Soldier. And Soldier was like, listen, Lisa don't understand that my friends are here to help my career. Okay? They are trying to give me advice. They are trying to better my career. And she done cut a shine in front of someone who's in the entertainment business, who's an actor. You know, he's trying to help me. And she done called him an idiot. And then Lisa was like, he better not come to the premiere. You tell him not to come. And here is all of two. Okay. So it's the night of the premiere. Okay. And Soldier, honey, he's ready. He is ready. So they get there. You know, Lisa, you know, she on his arm. Even his friends showed up. His friends was like, oh, Lisa, Lisa. Very nice. Honey, they had photographers there, media. People had a, you know, they had a step or repeat. Honey, they was taking pictures. I was like, okay, okay, Soldier. So they get inside of this little club. Uh, 
dabba 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 I see you. So of course, people pulling out their phones. The girls are getting selfies with Soldier. And then here's Bella Lisa, Lose Lisa. Lisa come talk about if one of them girls get out of hand, we gonna have a problem in this club. Please, one of y'all get out of hand. Please. Lisa, shut up. What, what exactly are you going to do? You're going to take off that headband that you wear and hit him upside the head with it? Girl, if you don't sit down somewhere, you and your bad body built ass. I don't like you, you cow, you heifer. I can't stand it, y'all. I said I can't stand her. She just is just awful this episode. She's always been awful, but this episode, she was just terrible. Just terrible. So anyway, it's time for Soldier to get up on stage and then they, you know, show that little um video. Honey, them Nigerian women, <laughs> they was like. Now see, before they showed that trashy, raggedy video, because it made no sense. You're talking about you love somebody, but you didn't even have a woman in the video. Did Lisa really think that she was going to be in the video, friends? Who wants to see her? Does nobody want to see Lisa? So, it was just a dud. I mean a dud. It just brought the whole mood down. Everybody looking at this video like, what is this? I mean, it was awful. Even the Nigerian women was like, listen, we down for soldier. Okay? But he done brought this old, decrepit white woman up in here. Done brought the mood down. Okay? I don't like her. And I didn't like that video. That video was garbage. It sure was. I agree with the Nigerian women. So, I guess you can say that somewhat it was a success. All right, so, they are going to meet his mother. Mm, yeah, they go to meet his mother. Okay. So, they went and they had to get a hotel room. They met up with his friend. His friend and him flew. They all flew. Did y'all see that crack in that window on that plane? I said, well, Jesus. So, they landed, okay? They go to the hotel, motel. What do they call it? A chalet. A chalet. So, they get there. They're, they're, everyone's tired. You know, when you travel for a long time, you're tired, okay? So, she gets there, and she was like, oh, my God. Oh, my God. I wouldn't even give this a half of a star. I mean, it had a TV. It had a chair. It had a bed. Child, they done put two box springs up on their bed. Not a mattress. Two box springs. And here she is. Uh, Usman. Usman. Baby love. Baby love. This is, this is not good. I cannot believe. Okay, Nigerians put two boss for this is hard. And so here's here's soldier. Soldier said, Oh well, I think it gets the job done. <laughs> so she already complaining. She's already bit of nasty awful. So Lord, why she go to the bathroom? Now his homeboy sitting there listening and seeing all this foolishness. So she goes to him, but she says, Husband, baby love, get in here. Get in here now. He was like, baby love, I'm, she said, I said, now, dang on it. <laughs> so he goes to the bathroom. She's in the bathroom. She said, what is this? And he was like, uh, a bucket. She said, how about, she said, oh, no. What have I got myself into? And he was like, listen, you can just shower. She was like, oh, no. Mm -mm, no. She says, I cannot believe you brought me here. So here she go. Okay. She is insufferable and draining and just awful y'all so um so so soldier boy after he'd been beaten and berated and embarrassed in front of his homeboy he decides to walk his homeboy out and honey his homeboy says listen um your homegirl you know she pretty and all but she got a thick tongue why you let her talk to you like that I don't like how she talked to you. And why you let her talk to you like that? You're a Nigerian man. That's not how it works. What's wrong with you? And so here is Auto-Tune. Auto-Tune come talking about, well, in America, the women, you know, berates their men. They talk badly to their men. Wrong. That's not true at all. Just because you got a loud mouth cow, the 
don't you put us in the same category as that alpha. Don't do it. Okay? So he's making excuses for her and he's saying, listen, okay, she has been disrespectful and she's controlling. And he says, Lord, I hope she don't talk like that around my mama. I hope she do. What type of Nigerian mama is going to sit there and let this have a talk to her? I hope her mama had butter. Now see, soldier can't put his hands on her, but the Nigerian mother sure enough can. I hope she clocks her right dead in her throat. Just, just like that. Okay, so that's it. I want to tell y'all this right now. If Soldier Boy don't grow no balls and cuss that heifer out, I'm going to go through that TV. I like Usman. I like him. He has bent over backwards for her. Okay? Everything she has said, every dis disrespectful thing she has done and said, he has apologized for. And she's still beating him down. I can't stand it, honey. He better cuss. If he don't cuss her out, he better get her straight. That's what he better do, child. I think that's it, y'all. All right, guys. I think that's it. I think I hit everybody. If not, child, oh, well, it wasn't that important. <laughs> y'all know the routine. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, friends, bye.